house during the day. So it's like, yeah, I kind of have to make sure I always do that. And when I forget to, it is kind of obnoxious, but you know what? We got Diddy versus Palu. How the tables have turned. Diddy used to be the top tier, now Palu's the top tier. Yeah, that's my boy DJP. He's probably one of the best Diddy's I've ever played. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm surprised he uh, stayed with uh, with Diddy, honestly. Like, Donkey Kong, I was expecting that just because Donkey Kong is still pretty valid. But the way that they changed Diddy's uh, game vibe between yeah. uh, 4 and Ultimate is pretty big. Yeah, and also judging by the fact that he he really wanted to play DK in Wi-Fi brackets, I'm surprised that he's still sticking with, uh, with Diddy. I mean, Diddy has like some... he has some good confirms. He has like guaranteed damage a lot of his stuff, but he's also... I don't know, he's fighting uh, Palu, and Palu can be kind of tough uh, if you're playing a heavy, so I can understand why he opted for Diddy. Well, but that back row is definitely going to take that first stock. Oh my goodness. And again, like you see, um, Palu Bear coming in super strong. And Antimony expecting uh, DJP to roll away at her back off, so he went to with the explosive flame, but not getting the reward he wanted. Mm -hmm. I want to see more. Oh my goodness! I don't think I've ever actually seen the barrels get destroyed by the same hit that caught them to spawn. Yeah, I was about to say that. Then they just start going flying off. <laughs> yeah, I want to kind of see. Uh, I want to see DJP try to do more mid range stuff. Uh, with Diddy because Diddy's extremely strong at the mid range. He has banana toss, he has uh, monkey flip, and he has like uh, several options that are actually pretty good for putting pressure on people at mm -hmm. the mid range. But he has to be careful that he doesn't like do those. He doesn't do like sloppy approaches because Pauly's really good at punishing those. Oh, he just he just tried to push him off with the wind box, and that was pretty interesting because that gave him that gave him stage control for about a few seconds, and that was that gave Antimony a good time to. Uh, Check where he was gonna recover and capitalize with an up there. Yeah, DJP unfortunately not charging his F smash quite enough. Uh, you do actually get a lot more time to charge F smash than you'd expect from Diddy tripping with the banana. And again, like, ah, it's so unfortunate. Back there, probably not good grab. enough. Nah, not, nah, nah. His, his, his back there is not that strong, and he wasn't at the ledge. One of the biggest uh, nerfs for Diddy uh, between Smash 4 and Ultimate is the fact that his up tilt doesn't reach as far as he used to before. True, yeah, it really doesn't. It doesn't yeah, have that good range anymore. Yeah, so he's not allowed to. Um, he's not allowed to just do up. Jeez, really? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Again. Yeah, he's not allowed to just do uh, up tilt on platforms anymore with the hope of pressuring someone to get off of it. He has to actually like commit to a jump if he wants to try to do that. Alright, good, uh, good side B to, to catch the landing. Yeah, one thing about Diddy that's like really important to remember running is that he has like multiple unreactable mid-range options. So it becomes less of a um, it becomes less of a matter of your opponent reacting it, reacting whatever you're doing as it is them doing it. Mm -hmm. Which is like one of the main reasons why this match has kind of turned a little bit for DJP. It's not quite as bad as it was at the beginning. But he is making progress. Oh in no, but he misspaced yeah. that, uh, that forwards match. Yeah, Antimony going for the banana, just focusing a little bit too hard on that and, and, and eating a decent punish. I like what Antimony is doing when he grabs the banana. He he takes that time to grab the banana, not only to just use it against DJP, but sometimes just to keep him away. So he's just gonna hold on to that banana, and he's gonna force DJP to approach. It's like, hey, you want the you want the banana? You want the banana? You gotta come get it. Yeah. And then, and then with that, he's still able to keep that zoning game up. You know, this is definitely uh, Antimony's advantage. Oh, that was an interesting <laughs> choice, honestly. And I think I, I think it definitely he would have had a shield break, but no, that wouldn't have uh, quite shield broken. No, but I think it would have been to that to that's uh, what you call it. Wouldn't have been that strong enough. No, uh, S smash isn't uh, strong enough to shield break unless the person has been holding shield for a bit. 
I mean, he had he had um, antimony in that shield for a, long, a little bit, and then he was charging it. But I don't know. It probably would have been like that close. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, very, very close, but not yet. Oh, you know something? I think Marshall's going random. Uh, I'm checking his bracket. He played Mario and Piranha Plant. I think he's going random. Yeah, that might be the case. Why? I'm not. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> With I a mean, Wi-Fi bracket, that sounds like something Marshall would do. Just not care about, you know, actually really playing the game well. <laughs> just trying to, you know, uh, just have fun with it, I guess. Yes, I'm kind of wondering what DJP is thinking about adaptation. Because, like, I'm not... I don't know, like, he hasn't, um... That first match was really bad initially, but then after a while he started like kind of writing the course, he started recovering better, and he started uh, figuring out how he was going to approach it better. And I'm wondering mm -hmm. if, how well he's going to carry that to game two. Well, that's not going to bring it over to uh, TNC. You know, this is a pretty good choice. Diddy uh, doesn't really have... Diddy's up smash kind of uh, isn't the greatest for killing upwards. Nah, um, absolutely not. But I don't think that's what DJP is really going for. I think this is definitely just good for DJP to get a little bit more space and use the platforms to just, you know, increase his range. I mean, again, like, it's uh, the big thing is that Diddy doesn't have, like, a really good way to punch people with on platforms. Uh, but it is a much higher commitment now if Antimony tries to run away. Um, it is a lot harder for him to get back onto the stage because PS2's platforms offer a lot of protection to people fighting Diddy overall. Comparatively, because they're able to get off the platforms quickly and onto them very quickly. It makes it so Diddy kind of has to play around that. In this one, he has, uh, he has forward air, which is much better than hitting on the platforms, as well as up air. And he doesn't put himself as much risk because his uh, his jump heights are about that level. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness! Oh, the roll away. Up the roll away, catching the forward smash. This stuff in DJP. Yeah, that wasn't and again, true, but you know what? That roll away ended up screwing Antimony. It did, unfortunately for Antimony. So I want to see like a little more cognizance out of DJP as to what Antimony is doing at mid range. Uh, whether it is jumping or trying to get a, uh, trying to put pressure on with explosive flame, like you see DJP kind of not really paying attention to what Antimony is doing, and trying to do his own stuff, which he has to be very careful with. Because Antimony is trying super hard to punish him whenever he does something like that. That's very good back. Here. Good grab. Okay. Oh, that's a bad that's a bad punish for Antimony. Yeah no, he was way too close to the autoretical uh Palatine has a weird quirk with her uh Ooh, very nice air smash. Yeah, Palatine has a weird quirk with her uh auto radical if the person is too close and too short, he's, they're going to whip it. Right, good punish. Yep. Good punish. Good, good, good follow ups. Good and death? He's gonna go all the way to the top? No, but he's not gonna get him there. Yep. Even Diddy up tilt is uh, a lot weaker than it was in the previous games. Again, oh. he's gonna kind of another command grab, but oh man! Almost, uh, almost killed from mid stage, but not quite yet. You know, DJP's in kind of a really dangerous spot, and oh my nice god! Side B <laughs> spike. Side B spike is actually the only option that Diddy has that allows him to keep his up. Mm -hmm, yes, indeed. So it is really, it's actually really good that he used it like that. Since he got the grab and that explosive flame is going to be the stock. Yeah, that's the equalizer right there. Yeah, it's kind of a laggy move, but it has so much pressure if it actually hits the opponent and it kills pretty, fairly early. Oh, as long as you're using it call. smartly, it's worth it to use it. That was definitely a little, a little presumptuous from Antimode. I mean, I know he was trying to predict the, uh, the monkey flip, but it was definitely not a bad call out. 
I think as long as you can uh, put out a hitbox that's gonna catch a monkey flip, it's definitely worth it to do. We see Antimony keep doing up smashes at the ledge and then uh, roll back to try to get the grab. Um, DJP hasn't really caught on to that, but there's not much he can do from that position. So Antimony's just looking for that maximum reward. Is he gonna try? Oh, he was protecting him to cover mad high. This is the last hit situation for Antimony. DJP throwing the banana the wrong way, but it ended up being worth that much. Is yes, Antimony on the ropes? This could end up. This could end at any second. And Antimony is doing the smart thing. Just, which is very, yeah, very smart. Platform camping him, avoiding uh, possible, you know, the banana kill confirm. Remember, uh, Monkey Flip, he, DJP has not used Monkey Flip recently, uh, with the change between Ultimate and Four, where... <gasps> just barely whiffing that down tilt, that's when he's like, no, I'm not letting you make that, you know, you kill me. <laughs> no, the just, thing with, just uh, off of me. Palutena has, like, some huge hitboxes, and if you misspace anything on them, yeah, you can eat that kind of punish. Very well done by Antimony. Yeah, and definitely he was sitting at what 137, so he was about near full rage, so that definitely gave him the extra yeah. ink that he needed to take that stock from almost mid stage. On yeah, I also wanted to mention that I really like the fact that Antimony got off the platforms at the uh, towards the end of the match because he was getting to the percentage where if he had gotten hit by a monkey flip, either the kick or the grab, it would have definitely killed. Absolutely. That was actually really good awareness on Antimony's part mm -hmm. uh, to avoid getting killed like getting killed there because BJP had him at a 